Hey guys, so I'm going to talk about a few cards. I'm going to start with uh, Draina. And I'm going to flop to the Draina page. I do have some foils of her, but I, I, don't, I cannot find them right now. So I have eight here. I have nine over there that I'm going to put in this binder. This binder essentially is where I put stuff that I like. Um, well, that, I don't like that. It's pretty empty now, but it's pretty, it's just Audrazi. One Audrazi in particular I like a lot. So this is my tray binder where I just put stuff in that I don't want. It's not really a tray binder where you trade away cards. It's more like a tray binder where I trade to get cards. And that sounds kind of ridiculous for a tray binder, but that actually is the case. So I will talk about Draina and why I believe long term so it was going to have some value. Draina is very good. I'm not going to lie, she has two abilities that are very relevant. She is a vampire, and yes, I count that as ability. Vampire decks since the dawn of time have always been good. Casual players have loved vampire cards. Uh, Bloodline Keeper is a good example. I mean, I bought a ton of Bloodline Keepers back in the day for pennies. Pennies, like dollar, like maybe a dollar or two. And this Draina is better than Blood. Well, Bloodline Keeper is a very good card. I mean, I don't want to take anything away. It does make tokens and pumps and... But this one is a fast vampire. I like fast cards, I like vampires, and overall, she has a lot of bite on her. Uh, she is a legendary creature. Why she never got to see play? This is why people were so down on Draina. There was a time that she saw a little bit of play after Mantis Rider rotated out. Do you guys remember Mantis Rider? A lot of you probably are newer to Magic and don't. Mantis Rider was this card that was called Jeskai. It called uh, cost a uh, Jeskai. So it would come down. It just didn't matter when it came down. This card can come down. It would have to hit you to become bigger than Mantis Rider one turn. And then you could eat up Mantis Riders and that would be good. But Mantis Rider had the haste and it had uh, the vigilance. And this card can never beat Mantis Rider from the Jeskai decks. So when the Contra Tarkir was in standard with Battle for Zendikar, this card was unplay. It was a definition of unplayable. Unplay you would just get blown out. There was no, there was no hope. If they play Mance Rider, they just eat up your uh, Draina, or your Draina just sits there and gets you get lightning bolted to the face every turn, and then you can't even attack back because it has vigilance. Okay, now move forward to let's con to Tarkir. It's rotated, we're in the shadows. We're hoping to get some more vampires. Like you're really, really hyped to get the more vampires from Shadows over Innistrad and Eldritch Moon. Well, it turns out that there is, how should I say it? It just wasn't a black deck. Um, the black deck that would want to play this in terms of aggro was not viable. Just not viable because you just had too much value. I remember the best card being uh, that tracker card, the green, the two and a green uh, tracker something, and he just provided so much value and Emiko. This cannot be Emiko, obviously. There were so many bad things that, or there were so many more powerful things that were happening than a vampire tribal, which never actually made it. So the tier one vampire deck. There was no components of it. Olivia is like 70 cents right now. It just didn't come together. And Emiko was too good. I don't know what else to say. Emiko was too good. And then when you got to A for Work Marvel and Smuggler's Copter, this cannot be a Smuggler's Copter. It just cannot. Like you you play Smuggler's Copter and, and then once Smuggler's Copter got banned, you still have Heart of Kinrin. The meta was very, very aggressive to this card. Like, when I mean very aggressive, I mean I, I can't think of another card that had to deal with as much as this card has in terms of standard and not being playable in the format due to Manus Rider. Manus Rider just was OP against it. Smuggler's Copter, Emma Cole. What was that tracker dude that everyone only play? And then the um, elf dude. It just didn't make sense. And then Gideon was, the problem was Gideon was double white and Gideon you want to play with Nissa. You don't want to play, you want, don't want to splash black for Gideon. And there was no ally deck. So there was, she has two relevant types. 
ally and vampire, and neither deck existed in standard during her whole allies were comically bad. And that kind of tainted her for a lot of people because a lot of people were hyped on her because they saw C spiked to at least $15. I remember that the C was a healthy $10 or $15 after it was announced that there would be lots of good, quote, good vampires. And then it turned out the good vampires were actually really crappy vampires. And that was the end of that. I mean, vampires, they were all the promos and I just don't know what happened. Allies, I assume they would suck and that's what they did. But the vampires, I, I don't get it. Uh, the vampires should have been better than they were, but they were not good. Today, love her. Commander 2017 has a vampire deck. Her price is already going up. I don't know how many more under $3 copies you can get. So like, I'll show you what I bought them for. So this one is, you cannot read it. I'll just read it for you. Oh, it doesn't have a price on it. Okay, no price, but it was under $3. Because I didn't buy anything over $3 for Drain Up. Okay, so this one was two, two seventy-two. dollars looks like. Yeah, two seventy-two dollars for five copies. Obviously, if you would just want to buy a single copy or less copies, they're cheaper online. All right, cool. So now let's talk about Philia.